Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to show you a little demo of what a USB OTG uh, adapter can do. Uh, OTG stands for on the go, meaning that I can take this wherever I want and plug it uh, into an appropriate device. So there is already a video uh, by Android NZ which is brilliant showing all the OTG um, functionality so you should go and check that out. Um, but one thing I realized in his video and um, something he told me is that his actual uh, USB OTG wire was quite long. So it was, I mean, it was from here to around there, which I don't really find that's on the go or portable. However, I bought this uh, not really knowing where it would lead me uh, from eBay and it cost around two pounds. So as you can see, it's very cheap. And I would like to confirm that this works and that is absolutely brilliant because it's smaller than my USB stick and it's pretty much the same size as my uh, mouse obviously it is bigger than the uh, small uh, Logitech um, keyboard but regardless this is small enough to put in my pocket and travel around wherever I want so let's plug it in so when you plug it in you'll see the notifications and it, by the way this is a uh, micro USB and there's a USB female so it's female there and over here it's male. So you plug it in and if you look on the notifications, I'll pull this down. As you can see, it says USB connector connected, connector connected. <laughs> so <clears throat> now it's connected and you can do what you want. So first of all, let's plug in your standard USB. So this is just a USB stick and plug it in and over here it will come up usually of a notification that there you go that something's inside so as you can see now it's reading my USB stick and I'm on my USB stick if I go back you can see it's USB drive A and normally when you plug it in it will create a thing called loss.dir which is fine and so here's um, a picture that I've got of my Logitech's 350's but let's go into something a bit more interesting and let's go into a video. Hey, what's up, guys? Totally Dubbed here, and this is just like an FYI for your information video. Um, so, as you can see, the video is playing perfectly fine um, and everything works. And more, much more importantly, is that I've got no lag while watching it, and obviously, the video works as, as well. So, it's reading it off the USB stick in there pretty fine, and the best thing about it pop-up play does actually work so as you can see I can be browsing my pictures on my USB while watching a video on my USB so that's pretty cool so as that video is going on uh, let's open this uh, let's open this document and let's see if it reads documents and as you can see it's reading the document perfectly fine there and let's try and open it let's try and see with quick office and now let's type something. And there we go. And let's save. There we go. The video just finished, by the way, so that's why it's not there. So as you can see, now I have even made changes to my um, to my document. Um, on my USB stick. So I find this all very cool and it also by the way reads uh, folders and as you can see folders um, of my Fisher Audio headphones I recently received and so there you go I mean it shows that it is actually working and so it might not come to as a surprise to some of you but for me I find this really cool and very useful so um, that is, is really useful to do so now I'll get rid of the uh, USB and remember to remove it safely it's better to do that or else if you don't do it it won't remove it safely and now let's get into something a little bit more interesting now this is my mouse and the mouse here is my Logitech MX Revolution which is an absolutely brilliant thing it's got a wheel over there that constantly spins and the, the beauty of this is that I can actually use my mouse now And there you go, up top it says mouse connected. Let's show you. As you can see, it's mouse connected. Now, I can now use my mouse. And as you can see on the screen there, I've got my mouse 
moving around. And I can do literally anything I want with this. So this is brilliant because it's really useful for uh, for browsing, for example. So let's go to let's go to let's go to Darky Rom. As you can see, I'm scrolling, and this is the this is the beauty of it. The scrolling is very useful. Uh, seeing as I also got the MX Revolution, it's got very nice scrolling uh, functionalities, but. This is absolutely lovely. I mean, I've never had this on uh, on a phone, um, so I really find this actually quite useful and quite cool to have. Um, I, I I really really like the feature. It is quite handy um, if you ever want to make a demonstration or something, a nice professional de demonstration. You can do it with your mouse, or if you just feel like just browsing the net. Um, with it it's fine. Now most of these buttons don't actually work um, which is no surprise to me however the back button works over here and that takes me one page back and if I keep on going I'll exit the application right there. So if I play some music So you can see it's not doing anything. Brilliant sang by Eminem there. Um, so yeah, as you can see, some I, I've programmed this on my PC, for example, to put it on um, scrolling uh, with the volume. So the only real buttons which work are the scrolling, obviously the mouse and the back button. So that is a mouse, and the mouse is a pretty cool functionality. Now let me go into... Uh, messages, right? Just delete a thread. Right, so now I'm unplugging the mouse and I'm going to put my keyboard. Now normally this is this is the unifying software one. The MX Revolution is a little bit old uh, to have the unifying software, but this works on my mouse. I mean on my keyboard. As you can see up there it says keyboard connected, even though it might say mouse connected. It sometimes gets confused. My keyboard is the Logitech K350, as you can see. And actually, let's see if I can make you a nice little demonstration. I don't know if it's really going to be handy to show you this, but let's see if, for, for, for starters, if it works. There you go. So now it's working. So as you can see, I'm going to try and do this. It's quite hard to show you but I'll do it regardless so as you can see it's working and all the all the um, symbols are working too as you can see like so and it'll, obviously it will depend on your uh, configuration on your on your settings as in what each of these um, each of these things do. They're not totally accurate, I have found. For example, if I'm doing the pound key, it's not coming as the pound key, it comes as something else, it comes as the um, hash key. Numlock works, but you have to enable it, just like you do on normal chemo. So if I enable numlock, and then I can do that, and it works. Uh, Windows key obviously doesn't work. Um, however, I did find a tab button to work. The tab button is literally like, like going back, uh, almost like the previous um, previous thing on the on the mouse. And if I press exit, it will also work like so. Let's do that. So if I exit will exit my application so it's like it's as I said like pressing the back key on the mouse so it is quite useful to have the mouse um, and as I said the tab key is um, an extra button and this is opens up Google search a Google search bar so as you can see the OTG functionality of the Samsung Galaxy S3 are pretty cool and I actually really like it. Um, it's it's a really nice functionality, especially the keyboard, because now I can write very fast on the keyboard uh, if if needs be. Um, and this will work both wired and wirelessly, as you can see. Obviously, this is wireless. So um, 
I really like what uh, I really like um, the functionalities that you can do as well. For example, as uh, Android and NZ showed, you can actually attach a Xbox 360 controller. Uh, you can you can plug in cameras and whatnot to it, so it is pretty cool of all the functionalities you've got. But unfortunately, I haven't got loads of things that I can show you. And the main things I can show you, as I said, is the USB, the keyboard, and the mouse. And that's the three things that for me are important. Uh, the things I would actually use uh, the USB more than anything, uh, but uh, the other functionality just to show that they do work. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, um, it shows the OTG uh, functionalities or some OTG functionalities with a small OTG um, adapter which can be bought at a very very reasonable price of £2 on eBay uh, which I will link down in the description and as you can see it's a USB female to a micro USB male over there. So you can buy these I'm pretty sure on eBay from any part of the world, but I bought them from ebay.co.uk. Alright guys, take care. Bye-bye.